Hey guys, welcome back, it's Brad here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Gold. In the last episode, I let you vote for which starter I was going to be choosing. And with zero votes was Pua Chikorita. The grass type had zero votes, no one wanted us to pick that. So, that one. In second place was Totodile, which had one vote. So uh, the Pokemon I'm going to be choosing and having on my team is Cyndaquil, which is a fire type, which is my favourite type in this one. I just love fire types. I love all the fire stars, basically. So Brad received a Cyndaquil. Um, I haven't got a nickname, so I'm not going to give it one because I can't think of anything right now. I might give it one later. I don't know. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. He's just looking over there. Oh, here's my number. Call me. I'll give you a ring sometime soon, my friend. Sometime soon. This is the machine he was talking about. If you put one a week, you just come here and heal them up. But I put one a fully healed, so we don't need to. Brad, I want you to have this. For your errand, Brad received a potion. Okay, so I've got a potion now. There were only two of us, so we're always busy. Yeah, there's only Professor Elm and he's eared. The ginger kid still looking through the window, we'll kick him a little bit more. Yeah, I can't remember if I have to go talk to our mum. <coughs> but we might as well go up. Yo, mama, what's up? That does sound challenging, yeah, it sounds very challenging. Going all the way up past Cherry Grove City to Mr. Pokemon's house. We can finally leave. Now we're going to our first bit of wild grass. Ah oh, man. Right, and we're back. It's just a Pidgey. I just ran away from it. I can't maybe bother to fight it. Oh my god, not again. Okay, I fought that Pidgey there and it actually nearly killed us. Oh my god, not again. And Pidgey, Pidgey, Cyndaquil has just learned Smoke Screen, he's now level 6 of that battle. And oh my god, not again. Okay, I just ran away from that one because I've got like 4 hit points left. And oh my god, every bit of grass, you see? Getting quite annoyed at this, every single bit of grass I've run into. I'm getting annoyed. Can't even seem to finish a sentence. Right, if you want some more wild Pokemon, but we'll talk about them later, there's some up in the bit of grass through that door, but we'll wait until we get the Pokeballs. I'm just trying to get out of this grass, are you serious? Finally, out of the grass. Let's talk to the old man. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone's a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Sure. Okay, if, okay then, follow me. This is a Pokemon Center. They can heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. This is a Pokemon. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items such as repels, which I can't wait to get. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. This is a sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here. 
It's my house, thank you for company. Let me give you a small gift. I received the map card, which we put in our poker game, and we now have the map. In Pokemon Heart Gold, you'll actually get a pair of running shoes of him, but because the running shoes aren't in this game, you can't get that, and I would have usually cut this out, me healing, but uh, let's leave it in. Doesn't take up much time. We hope to see you again. I hope my Pokemon get hurt again. Very kind, aren't they? Okay, well, we might as well continue on. Oh, it's a miracle I didn't run into any wild Pokemon. You know Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Brad received a berry. Yeah. Berry, berry, berry. Yeah, he said that they didn't get them from trees, which like these trees here. So we've got a berry there off his house. That's the one next to his house, shall I say. Let's go through the grass. Oh, not more wild Pokemon. Right, that was just a Metapod, which actually took quite a while it took to take down. And we will continue. Cyndaquil grew at level 7 there, after battling that fierce Pidgey. We've got a Poison Cure Berry. So I'm guessing that, po that cure was poison. And we'll come in here, which is Mr. Pokemon's house. Hello, hello, you must be Brad. Professor Elm said that you would visit. I think these talk quite a bit, so I can't really be bothered to read everything out. I'll just let you read what it says. As you can see over there, on the computer, is someone you may recognise in a minute. He's just said his name now. Which it is Professor Oak. Ah, so you're Brad. Yes, I'm Brad. I am Brad. I'm the infamous Brad. This music's so cheerful. What's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. You know, look at my Pokemon, it's mine. To research. I like Pokemon are our friends. Pokemon is not my friends. God, these. Do these ever shut up? I want to move on with the game. Stop talking! And then he just randomly gives you a Pokedex. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. Yeah, how many people have actually completed the Pokedex? Not many. I'm counting on you. Shut up. You should have a rest. So he heals your port one up here. Which is all good. Then we're getting a phone call. He Hello, Brad? It's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It oh no. Please get back here now. What if I don't wanna come back yet? Right, I'm just going to cut this out till I get back to, I think it's called Cherry Grove. So I'll just cut this out now. Alright, well I actually was going to just continue on, but it's been about 10 minutes this video. 9, 10 minutes. So I'm just going to end it here. So if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.